been a long process. Uh, I want to speak specifically to our fans and say uh, being exposed to labor negotiations the way they are, they cheer for us, they follow us for an extra bit of lifetime, lifestyle ingredient, a part of their life that releases from day to day. And to be exposed to the business side is uh, a great source of anxiety for some and for others, uh, you know, a new sport in and of itself. I, uh, I wish none of them had to go through it or watch it. And I think the good news is we're out the other side. We have a long-term deal in partnership with the Players Association. Hopefully it's all done and uh, look forward to the future. Uh, and to our employees, many of which we have seconded out to other businesses and uh, in the 20s. And uh, hopefully we can recall them and get them back to work. We've had to lay off nobody, thanks to our human resources group. and. Uh, Happy to say that uh, this day is here for them because it's a turning point in their lives, and uh, they've been just great people and supported us. Has, has it been hard to, you know, think about the lockout is going to end? What's it going to be? What's my roster? What's the cap? Uh, have you been able to do any of that kind of pre-planning because of the uncertainty? I think if you talk to management staff of any team, coaching staff, they're planned out. <laughs> they've. Uh, you know, they've probably done a training camp over in 10 different scenarios and you've looked at rosters and, you know, what does someone look like after three months out, six months out, a year out? Uh, what is your, you know, there's so many different variables. And after a while, like, you just have to let the process take place and, you know, I'm happy it's done. How many players are going to be? Yeah. I think Maddie will, will end up something uh, in the mid-20s. Uh, speaking with Ralph, we feel <clears throat> probably about five lines, eight defensemen. Uh, we've got two people for sure that are injured right now with Andy Sutton and Ryan Jones, who had the eye injury, uh, unfortunately, just uh, I think around a week ago. So those two will definitely be out. And Habby, uh, Habby's come along nicely, so we expect uh, a positive uh, note from our docs soon with him. So as a team rep, how informed yeah. were you as the negotiations with the lawyer? Was it one of those things that just tells how it ends? Uh, I mean, the information was fantastic, not just for the reps, but for everybody uh, throughout the whole process. I think, uh, obviously, it got a little tighter towards the end. Um, you know, they were worried about media leaks and whatnot, and they wanted to, to keep everything tight. So, um, you know, it was, it was tough for me sometimes, but uh, not being there, but... Uh, you knew you'd get an update uh, anytime there was, there was something significant, and I think I got three or four even on the last day. So it was a, it was an exciting day, but I can't imagine what the what the 16 hours was like that they spent in the room. So. Devin, there were some comments that this deal kind of looks similar to a proposal that the players had made about a month ago. I mean, do you think it was worth it this whole this whole thing? Uh, I don't. I think that's a tough one to answer as far as uh, something being worth it. I think uh, you know missing half the season is. Uh, is never really worth it, but um, you know we just have to look at it as, as we're, we're where we are now, and, and uh, you know I think we're happy with with what we ended up with, and, and we're happy to get going and, and kind of get it behind us.